Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity. Um, so I think that uh, this is a really, really difficult topic for all of us. Uh, this is very personal. Um, this is a serious family issue. I would hope that we could all agree that we don't want government interfering um, with decisions that our family and our faith community and our loved ones should make. And I need to preface my comments today by apologizing to my mother and father. Um, again, these are issues we should not be legislating. But because the representative from the 58th and the representative from the 2nd brought this issue to our body, um, I feel that I have no choice but to tell this story. And this is a story that my constituents don't know. This is a story that my students don't know. Uh, this is a story that most of my friends don't know. And that story starts when I was a kid. Um, I was eight years old, visiting the family farm, and uh, my cousin raped me repeatedly, several times. The only reason it stopped is because my father found us. This has been kept private with my family for good reason. It was not reported. There's a reason that only 19% of rapes are ever reported. I was eight. I didn't know what was happening. My parents protected me, and they made good decisions on my behalf. And I am a whole person because of the love and care of my parents and my faith community and the counseling that I was able to receive individually and with my family. And that should have been kept private. But because of this bill, I need to tell this story. Because now, I have three daughters. And I talked about them on the floor last week. And they're my pride and joy. And they're beautiful. And they're five. And they're seven. And they're 11. And they are getting close to womanhood. And God forbid they have the same thing happen to them that happened to me. And they actually be of childbearing age. And now I need to publicly reveal this to the entire community. And let's make no mistake, I am a state representative. Things that go on the police log do not go undetected. You are talking about my kids here, that this would have to be made publicly known for them to receive the services that they need. When I started in this body as a freshman, I was really excited. I'm a teacher. We're going to do good things for our kids. We're going to work on public education. We're going to make sure that people have access to quality, affordable health care. That's what I talked about all the time on doors. People are like, yes, we need that. We're losing jobs in our community. We're not sure what we're going to do. We're going to have to sell our house. I can't afford COBRA. Please help us. Mandy, get elected. Be our champion. Central Wisconsin is desperate for jobs. Last in the nation in short-term job growth. And you go to central Wisconsin and they know it. They feel it. We all feel it. I can't believe we are taking this up today, of all things. When you vote for this bill, you are re-victimizing me. And thousands of families across Wisconsin that have struggled with this issue. But really, I am a lucky one. I can stand here with confidence and tell you about it because, again, I had the support of my family. Now, I have also been a teacher, a public school teacher, and been privy to many, many families' lives and personal decisions that they had to make regarding their children. You become sort of a counselor when you become a private school teacher as well. And I know that a lot of those families across Wisconsin today don't have the faith community that I had, don't have the support of family that I had, don't have the protections that I had as an eight-year-old. And I ask you to think, please, please, beyond the party line vote, think, 
What kind of situation are you putting some of these vulnerable children in? They have to publicly report sexual abuse before they can get adequate health care? They may be forced to bear a child at a very young age. They need these invasive procedures. None of these options are, are appropriate at all. Please, please, I, I truly, I implore you, what is the purpose of this? I, too, believe in life. I love my three children dearly. I would do anything for them. Please do not accuse us of being anti-life. It's not true. It's too simplistic. I believe that you supported this bill because you did think it was that simple, but I am telling you, there are very, very important, difficult situations that people have that need to remain private. Please vote red on passage. Do not humiliate victims of rape again.